compromise yeah. is those Republicans that look like, or actually, the named Republicans that look more like Democrats. Okay, the compromise is... And that's that, not really a compromise. The compromise is that um, Susan Collins, Olympia Snow, and uh, Brown will always vote to spend money. And they're from states that have, that don't spend, they're clear. I mean, Massachusetts may be a liberal state, but they don't have any money. So, so why are they voting to spend money? Because they're, they're, they actually, uh, these people are from liberal, they're from left-leaning states, and they're Republicans. Mm -hmm. So remember, two of them are from the same state, Collins and Snow. Oh, well, okay, that's... that's and then they pick up, they only have to pick up, um, you know, uh, in order to get the 60 votes, they only have to pick up one more Republican. And they've got the filibuster-proof thing. And you can always buy off a Republican. See, that's the difference. Republicans stand for everything that's good about America. You can always buy off a Republican. What about a Democrat? Uh, if you offered to... to shut, okay, you could buy it off. If you'll give me your vote, I will destroy the oil industry. Oh, you've got my vote. Uh, if you give me your vote, and Nancy Pelosi, if you can give deliver these votes, I will have everybody going like this to you. Oh, mm -hmm. you've got those votes. Uh, See, and it's you not thought, money. You thought it was just money. It's not it's money. It's vote. power with the Democrats. Mm -hmm. They have this vision of which there is a one-party system, and they are the party. And everything. The, the, a liberal Democrat is just a socialist, which is funny because he, here's the here's point. What? That means they're to the right. How do you figure Socialist that? Socialists and communists are to the right. They're not left. Understandable. Understand. There is more censorship under liberals than there is under conservatives. A conservative is not a uh, socialist well, or a... Conservatives usually stick with the Constitution. That's right. And to a, to a liberal... And they're, they're more sticking with what the Constitution says, yeah. and the liberals are more trying to interpret what the Constitution They want to means. interpret something that, well, this was written by a bunch of white guys in white wigs. Over 200 years ago, so uh, it's not modern. Anybody remember the laws of Hammurabi? Which, no, we so. have, which basically we tend to use a lot. You know, our legal system is based upon the laws of Hammurabi, which, by the way, folks, was an Arab. Never heard of it. Algebra, geometry, and trigonometry with Omar Khayyam, an Arab. Astronomy and Arab, but everything okay. But Arab, a modern Arab does not believe in a, in the stars. So yeah, you see, we have no uh, Obama's idea of compromise to keep NASA going, and so he's already getting rid of destroying one city and firing eight thousand more people. Was yeah. that we're going to have an outreach program for Muslims? That has nothing to do with the space program. I know, but that was his. I idea mean, unless there's something that I'm no, that was his idea. Compromise. Remember. Uh, oh, that's how I could justify still putting money in it? Yeah. Is if it would become a Muslim outreach? It'd become a Muslim outreach. That's his idea of compromise. But he, uh, he has no history in his entire life. He has no history of ever compromising on anything. They said that I mean, this is a guy that has a 105% liberal rating, which means he's never read anything, anything conservative in his life. He is so liberal that um, he even, you know, uh, the votes that he doesn't take he would have supported if he had actually voted for him, which he didn't because he, he has a record of being the worst person in Congress for attending votes. Was so, it attending votes? Yeah. He, well, I just thought he always said he was president. He's president, which means he, they, they always vote president if they're not there because that way they get paid for being there. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. You see, I thought voting president was just that you didn't want to say yes and you didn't want to say no. So you no, it president. means that you get paid if you say president. If, if, the, if, if the word president oh, was said... Oh, because it's a present to you. Yeah, right. That, yeah, because sense. you still get paid, even though yeah. you didn't choose a side. But they don't have to choose a side. Yeah, but um, okay. But have but, some spine. But they do. But we can we we can try a bit to uncompromise. Okay. Um, uh, I don't have my wallet with me. We'll, we'll, we'll use an example of not a spring chick swimsuit. A compromise between me and not a spring chick would be not a spring chick keeps her swimsuit on. A compromise to a Democrat would be, which piece is she going to lose? That's the Democrat's idea of a compromise. Um, uh, if I had my wallet, which I took out of my pants, the, uh, this, is, this goes back to Mark Twain. Um, an example, 
if a Democrat, if a Republican finds a wallet on a street, a Republican will take all the money out of it and send it back to you. Mm -hmm. If a Democrat sees the wallet on the street, the Democrat says it's mine. He just keeps the wallet in because he needs something to carry the money in. <laughs> The, but um, the, the, there is no such thing. They ask. Uh, um, what about the person that leaves it? No, yeah, that that poor person is the guy that's paying all the taxes that nobody can. You know, he's the one they're going to pay taxes on. A compromise to the president of the United States is listen carefully. Only two percent of those people making less than two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year will have an increase in their taxes. You got any idea? And those two percent are the ones that are paying most taxes anyway. Yeah, they're paying the taxes. Okay, we're talking fifty-one percent of the people pay no taxes whatsoever. So you're hitting the uh, hitting a disproportional amount of people that are paying taxes under two hundred fifty thousand will be hit with increased taxes. So that the people that don't pay taxes, which traditionally support the Democrats, continue to not have to pay taxes. But you have to listen. Words are very important. You know, I love that last night. Two percent. That didn't fly with the Democrats either. That did not fly with a lot of people in the Democratic Party, because Obama, you know, Obama said that. Like I said, he said there'll be no taxes on people under two hundred fifty thousand. That's all he's done. Is hit one tax after another after another, and you're going into an election. They just got. That's not going to be for, really popular for this next election. Oh, it's not going to be popular, you know. You, you, you cannot, that's why they're trying to put, okay, Obama now has gotten rid of shared responsibility because the, the, night, the, the comics that are generally to the left, well, yeah, we understand shared, respons shared responsibility. You reach into my pocket, take all the money out, and then you share it with the people that don't have it. <laughs> that's shared responsibility. So... <laughs> You know, the comics have a way of um, the comic, adding perspective. The comics don't like this president. I mean, they, they, they are saying, in reality, he is being skewed more than George Bush ever was. And he's only been president for a short time. You know, well, you know, what, what they used to say, they would skew George Bush for, what was it, like the time he walked into the wall? Yeah. And then, but, you know, and then he just kind of laughed about it and took oh, his off, right? Oh, and he right? knew the thing. Okay, here was the trick is. George Bush had a better education than Al Gore, R. Are the uh, you know are the other what was it? Who did it? No Clinton. No, was he, he a Rhodes Scholar. He had a Rhodes Scholar, but he ran against um, uh, it was Michael Dukakis, wasn't it? Or, I don't remember who he ran against, but he had oh it was Gore, and then the next person he ran against. Was Mr. Dukakis? No, no, I don't know who the last person he ran against. I'm ridiculous, isn't it? But uh, he really wiped out the second. His education was far better than the last two Democratic Party candidates. And, uh, and so he, oh, they would make fun um, that he was illiterate. What's his name? Governor? No, 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 no. The, the guy with the long face. I'm trying to... Oh, Kerry. 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 Yeah. That's the face did it then. No. <laughs> the long face, great hair. But uh, this is why, you know, that, that they would make fun, you know. Well, he'd make fun. I actually read a, I read a book once. No, he had a master's degree, folks. Uh, he ran, he, he ran businesses. He was a businessman. I know, which is the funny part, because they, they try to make it sound like, oh, George Bush was like silver, you know, had the silver spoon all of his life, and somehow he bought a, a sports franchise, and that's all he ever did. Um, mm. George Bush Sr. worked his ass off in the oil fields to make money. Mm. Junior worked his rear end. Junior did, okay, Daddy went to uh, Yale because Daddy worked his rear end off to go to Yale. Junior basically didn't get a free ride either. They actually paid, and like a lot of people, they paid for their educations. Oh. So, but um, not, Democrats don't generally pay for educations. But I mean, like, here's a good trend. Uh, we got another example of compromise in the United States between Democrats and Republicans. All the blue states are going to allow illegal aliens to go to school at, on the taxpayer's bill, and the red states are going to throw their asses out of the country. That's compromise. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it just they they said, um, but we told you people, we told you before the election what this presidency was going to be like. There was a mean spirited Barack Obama. I mean, he, like I said, this is he's the he's a, a total anomaly. As I've heard, this guy is the. I mean, you'd want him living next door to you in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. The guy is the great father. He is the great. You know, he's a credit to his neighborhood. Totally an 
Who gives a darn what color he is? They just said, he's the type of guy everybody wants living next to you because he's, he's charming, he's funny, you know, he's eloquent, he's everything that you really want and he's community oriented. Mm -hmm. But he is the most mean-spirited SOB that you ever see because he's a community organizer. He basically comes from the from the Chicago where they you know where they used two before to bring out the vote, mm. and this is how he was brought up. So, but you get a socialist and a community organizer. That's really, I mean, bad. But he has no comprehension of compromise. I mean, um, it's, it's one of those. It's my way or the highway. He's the one that created that. He did. He's the one that said it's my way or the highway. <sighs> I thought it was that Frank Sinatra, I did it my way. No, I did it my way, but he did it, it's my way, you know, he basically, he, folks, I won the, there was an election, I won, it's my way or the highway. But now that he lost the last election, Republicans seem to think it's their way or the highway.